Hey guys, this is Mark. Today I wanted to talk to you about impatience. Right now I'm standing at the Penn State Flower Trial Gardens in Pennsylvania, and you'll see behind me is a big, beautiful, full, colorful bed of impatience. Now that is really significant and really exciting. And I'm gonna get into why that is in a little while, but this plant has a really interesting history behind it. So I feel like I wanna share that with you first. So it all started around the early to mid 40s with a man named Claude Hope. And Claude Hope was sent to Costa Rica by the United States Army to do some research and some work with a plant that they found was helpful in treating malaria. And that was really a big deal back then, especially in the Pacific Theater. So anyway, Claude is down in Costa Rica doing his work and he's out on a walk one day and he comes across this plant that really piques his interest. And he figures that if he can do some work on this to get it smaller and a little more colorful, he might have something that he can introduce to the domestic market back home. Well, that's exactly what he does. It takes him about 23 years, and he finally gets this thing down to a nice, compact, pretty thing that he's proud of, and he introduces it in 1969 as the Elfin series of Impatience. Now, this is the first time that Americans or anybody else has seen an Impatient like we know it today, and they really hit the ground running with it. You gotta think, in 1969, a lot of people were living in houses that were built just after the war or in the early 50s. And when those houses were built, they planted trees, right? Well, now in 1969, those trees are a lot bigger and now people have to deal with shade and what to do, what to plant there. So it was really the perfect time to release these things into the market because now all of a sudden, people have a, a, a simple, colorful solution to their shady areas. So over the next 35 years, impatience were actually the number one bedding flower plant in the United States. They surpassed geraniums, they surpassed marigolds, and they actually accounted for 25% of the overall flower bedding market, which is really something. So what's up now, right? We haven't seen impatience m much of anywhere over the past handful of years. Well, why is that? On about 2004, we started seeing impatience downy mildew in the United States. And it didn't take too long before it had spread nationwide. And people just couldn't grow them anymore like they used to. They really fell out of favor pretty quickly. I mean, they, they were just sickly looking. And you know, what was once the, the top annual just you hardly ever see it anymore. So the ironic part is here we are, 50 years later, in 2019, 50 years after Claude introduced his Elfin series in 1969 through the Pan American Seed Company, which he created. Now, in 2019, the Pan American Seed Company has reintroduced the Impatient, like you see behind me. They call it the Beacon Series. So the Impatient is back. And it's awesome and it's colorful and it's beautiful and it's all these things we remember so yeah it's really exciting i mean a lot of us have a lot of nostalgic memories with this flower anybody that's old enough to remember i mean my grandmother used to grow them my mother grew them i remember being a kid in the driveway my mom had this big planter of them next to next to the driveway underneath this big uh, Japanese maple tree and I remember she, she never really did much with them she water them every once in a while but they were just huge and beautiful all summer long so it's really exciting to see it back again they call it the beacon series they come in six different colors so far they've got two mixes and they're just beautiful and I I really just want to thank Pan, Pan American Seeds for hitting it out of the park I mean what a great way to celebrate the 50th anniversary anniversary of the impatient by bringing it back in such a big way. And uh, I hope you think about it next year for your garden for a great way to just bring back that nice season long color with very little maintenance. The Beacon Series by Pan American Seeds. Give it a try. Mm -hmm.